Okay, we are going to talk about chapter 7.4, which is the determinant of a matrix and Kramer's rule. Okay, so a matrix or a determinant is a specific value related to a square matrix and is found by. So these will only work for a square matrix um, and is found by the following formula. So uh, we can write it. We can write it DET of A. This is usually what's found on the calculator. Uh, we can use the absolute value signs, though it's red determinant of matrix A. And so this is my square matrix, and I want to find the determinant, hence the vertical lines. I take AD minus BC. So that is simply um, multiplying on our diagonals here. So that's uh, AD and then multiply on your other diagonal here which is BC and then we'll take bottom minus top okay uh, so that's kind of the the very simplest way to find our determinant so let's look at some here okay find the determinant of so I've got this matrix uh, which is 2 minus 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 okay and then so we will multiply on the diagonals so that's 6 and this diagonal uh, negative 1 times negative 5 is 5, so then you take the bottom, which is 6, minus the top, which is 5, and you get the determinant to be 1. Um, so determinants are just a specific number related to this matrix. So a lot of other matrices could have a determinant of 1, um, so they're not unique in that sense. So our next one here is... 0 0.5, 0 0.2, negative 3, negative 4.2. Okay, again we'll multiply across. So I got negative 3 times 0 0.2, negative 0 0.6, and 0 0.5 times negative 4.2 is negative 2.1. So I take the bottom, negative 2.1, minus the top, negative 0.6. So that's, let's see, plus positive so negative 2.1 plus 0.6 is negative 1.5 all right and this one uh, because it tells me the determinant we'll just not rewrite it so that's 2 times 1 is 2 2 thirds times 3 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 all right so that's 2 by 2 uh, the three by three and above, um, we have what what we call matrix expansion. Okay, this this is a super easy concept um, to understand. So I can expand a matrix on any row or column, and what what I want to do or what I'm doing when I expand is I'm taking a matrix of some size and I'm trying to break it down into matrices of a, of a lower size so for example this this three by three matrix right here um, I want to break down into smaller two by two matrix matrices so let's say I expand over this row okay now these signs in here are very important okay because what that's going to do is that's going to tell me I'm going to have a, a positive term here a positive term here negative term and another positive term another positive term and I will have those numbers with a two by two uh, determinant here okay because we're taking a, a three by three and breaking it into two by two so I'll have a number here um, yeah a number here a number here and a number here as well okay so if I start with this first term here Okay, I will mark out, so I'll take that term, a positive of that term, so the same thing, bring it out front, I'll mark out this row, or that column, and this row, and then 
notice here is my two by two matrix. So that will actually come right down here. So I have a number, 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 and number. So I have four numbers in there. Okay. Then when I move to the next one here, okay, so this would be my next term. Then I'll mark out the rest of that same row and I'll mark out that column and then I got my numbers there. So then I still have four terms that are going in there. So I've got, let's see, this, these two and these two and I just write it in there just like that. Now when I go to four by four, it's the same process except now when I expand over this term right here, okay, that column in that row uh, and then I have this three by three right here so then I'll have to go down to a two by two okay. so that is uh, the general idea of matrix expansion um, and let's look at one here. so find the determinant of this three by three so let's just for starters let's expand over this row and we have to remember that this starts with plus minus plus Okay, so if I start with expanding over this 2 right here, it's a positive 2. So we'll write um, plus 2. Or it, it's just the same, so we can just write a 2. And then I have my 2 by 2 determinant. And to figure that out, I mark out, well, I will mark out this column that the 2 is in and the row that the two is in and then we're left with this uh, three by three matrix right here or two by two matrix sorry so I've got uh, five minus two seven and four okay so that one is done then we move to our next number which is one and remember because it went um, you know, plus, minus, plus, that one now becomes a minus one. And then you have your two by two. So we'll mark out this and we'll mark out this, making a little T there. Um, so then I have, I have minus one, minus two, minus three, and four. And then our last one is a plus three. And then if I just erase some of this here, hopefully you can kind of start visualizing what you're marking out. And then you can say that it is uh, minus one, minus two, minus three, and four. So now we have the simple way of finding out of the determinant of the two by two. So I have two times, and then whatever this determinant is, so I got 7 times negative 2 is minus 14. 5 times 4 is 20. So I got 20 minus negative 14. So that's 34. Minus 1 times negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Plus 3 times. This is negative 3 times negative 2. That's a positive 6. And this is negative 1 times 4, which is minus 4. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This determinant is wrong. I just rewrote the same one. So this is negative 1, negative 3. This is 5, 7. Okay. So this is negative three times five, which is minus 15. And that's negative one times seven, which is minus seven. So you have negative seven minus negative 15, which is eight. So then you have what? That's 68 plus 10 plus 24. So two, uh, 102. And just double check here. 68 plus 10 plus 24. 
102. Okay. Now there's another way to find the determinant of a three by three that is sometimes um, a little bit quicker. So let me just take this and we will uh, clone it here and I'll drop it down. We'll scroll down and we'll find the determinant another way. Okay. So this way is kind of maybe you call it a repeat way or, or whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's using the process that we use with two by two. But if I just multiply on these two diagonals here and get numbers, you notice I've left out four of these numbers. Okay. Now in order to alleviate that or get rid of it, we're going to take it and we're going to take these first two columns and copy them down. So I got 2, minus 1, minus 3, 1, 5, and 7. Now I've extended this matrix just a little bit, but now when I multiply on these diagonals, I actually have three diagonals going in each direction. And what that does is now I've, I've hit every number. So see this one right here, this one right here is the same as this one, so I've hit it. Uh, this negative one is the same as this negative one, so I've hit it, um, and I've hit them all. Okay, so when I do that multiplication, okay, I get uh, negative three times five times three, so that's negative forty-five. Seven times negative two times two, that's minus twenty-eight. Four times one times negative one, that's minus four. Then if we go the other direction, 2, 5, and 4, that's 40, 1, negative 2, negative 3, that's 6, 3, negative 1, and 7, that's minus 21. Okay, and so then we add these numbers together. So you got 46 plus negative 21, that's 25. You got negative 45 plus negative 28 plus negative 4. That is negative 77. Then you take the bottom minus the top, and that would give you 102. So again, different method, we get the same answer. Uh, some of you will like this method um, because it's a little bit less work. The only downside with this method, it will not work for like a four by four or five by five matrix. This only works for two by two and three by three. So find the determinant using the best row or column. How do I know if it's the best row or column? Well, two things. You want a row or column with a lot of zeros in it, okay? Because when you multiply by zero, you just get zero. And the other thing is you want small numbers, okay? So let's expand it over this column right here, okay? So the first thing we need to do is figure out our signs. And remember the top left one starts with a plus. So I got plus, minus. So that's a plus and then they alternate, minus, plus. Okay. So when I do the determinant here, we'll start with zero. And I've got my two by two. So I'll mark out that and I'll mark out that. So I've got four, seven, five, and three. Okay, and then we'll go to minus one. So I want um, I want that row back, but now I'll cross out this middle row, and my determinant is negative one, two, five, and three. And then I've got plus zero, and then minus one, two, four, and seven. Okay. Now here's the nice part about the zeros. Zero times whatever this determinant is will always be zero. So I I can save time and I don't even need to do the zeros. That's why I want to find ones with zeros in it. So I got minus one. And then determinant is five times two, which is 10. And negative one times three, negative three. Negative three minus 10, negative 13. So negative one times negative 13 is 13. So that's the row, 
uh, expansion method. If you do the the repeat method, which I'll do here in a little bit, um, you still have to work with those zeros. All right, let's move on to four by four. Okay, again, let's look for our best row or column, the one with the most zeros. That looks like it will be this row right here. Okay, so normally you would have to expand it four times. Here I only have to do it uh, twice because I got the two zeros. Again, we need to look at our signs. So this is plus, this is minus, plus, minus, plus. So we will start with a a negative negative four so that turns to a positive four and then you will have a three by three matrix so that marks out that one and then the yellow row two so I've got negative two three four nine six five seven two one okay. and then you have you skip the zero one and we'll go to negative negative one so that's plus one Okay, and then uh, let me erase this one. So we'll mark out that row and this third column here. So I've got one minus two, four, negative three, nine, five, negative five, seven, and one. Okay. So as we look here, we've got two three by three determinants. Notice none of them are zeros and They've got low numbers, though. So we'll we'll take it and we'll do the um, copy method or the extended method. So I got negative two, nine, seven, three, six, two, four, five, one. Okay, so there's your matrix. The first two columns down again. Okay, and now we multiply on the diagonals. So I have seven, six, and four. One sixty-eight. I've got two, five, and negative two. That's minus twenty. I've got one, three, and nine, which is twenty-seven. Uh, so that is 168 minus 20 plus 27, 175. Okay, and then go the other way. So that's negative 2, 6, and 1. So that's minus 12. 3, 5, and 7. That's 105. 4, Nine and two, seventy-two, and those up. That is one sixty-five. So you have one sixty-five minus one seventy-five, which is minus ten. So then the determinant of that is minus ten, and then you got plus one. And then we'll do the determinant of the next one the same way. So um, 1 minus 3 minus 5 minus 2, 9, 7, 4, 5, 1. And then copy the first column again and the second column again. And then we'll multiply on our diagonal. So negative 5, 9, and 4. Negative 180. 7, 5, and 1 is 35. 1 minus 3 minus 2 is 6. Add those up. You get negative 139. Other direction, so you get one, nine, and one, nine, negative two, five, and minus five, uh, so fifty, four, negative three, and seven, that's minus eighty four, 
and add them together, you get minus 25. So you get bottom minus the top. And you get 114. And then you got 1 times 114. And then that is negative uh, 40 plus 114. is 74 so the determinant of that is 74 so we've used matrix expansion along with um, the kind of repeat method so why do we want determinants what are they good for well they're good for finding uh, solutions to systems of equations using Kramer's rule now Kramer's rule is super nice and it, a very, very easy concept. Okay. So it's all about finding determinants. Okay, the first thing we want to find, so here's my system. I just got two unknowns uh, right here, X and Ys. So A are my X coefficient, B are my Y coefficients, and Cs are my constants. So the first thing we need to find is my coefficient matrix, which as you noticed are A's and B's. So the coefficients of A's or the X's and the coefficients of the Y's. Okay, now when I go to D or DX and DY, we have to remember this. Okay, so the coefficient of the, uh, okay, so the coefficients of the variable of the determinant you're, you're looking for gets the constant. Okay, so let me explain that. So here we're looking for dx. Okay, so instead of writing the x coefficients I now write the constants okay and then y follows so like over here on D this is x this is y well for DX instead of writing X I substitute in the constants and I continue with y over here on DY instead of writing y I write the constants and I leave X alone okay so you're just substituting the the constants in for whatever letters down here and then how do I find X and Y? Well, it's the ratio of DX over D and Y is DY over D. Okay. So let's look at one here. Now notice my X's and Y's and constants are all in the same column, so that's important. So the first thing we need to look for is D, which is my constants. So that's 1, 3, 2, 1. So 1, 3, 2, 1. Okay, then I want dx. So instead of writing the 1 and the 2, now I'm going to write 1 and negative 3. Substitute those constant ends and y stay the same. And for dy, I write the x's. And instead of y's, I write my constant or my solutions. So then I find the determinants. So I've got 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. Uh, negative 3 times 3 is minus 9. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 minus negative 9 is 10. And then this is 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Minus 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Okay, so now I need to find what x and y is. There are. So x equals, that's the ratio dx over d, which dx is 10, d is negative 5, 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2, and y is dy over d, which is negative 5 over negative 5, which is 1. So this is super easy, little, little math in this, okay, especially if you got, you know, really small numbers like we do. 
Uh, so my ordered pair where the where these two lines will intersect is at negative two one. So super super little math, and we're still using matrices to organize this data. Okay, so three by three. So let me just explain how this works. Okay, this is this is the important part right here. Okay, you still find D, which is still your coefficient matrix. Okay, so I've got X's, Y's, and Z's. Okay, so A, B's, and C's. D is my constant now. Okay, so I've got my coefficient matrix here. And to find the other D matrices, you replace what you're finding with the D's. So again, here we've got we've got DX, so I'm looking for X. So instead of X, I'm gonna write my constants, which are my D's. And this is still Y and this is still Z. Here for DY, now instead of Y, I write D's, which are my constants up here, okay? So this is still X and this is still Z for DZ. Whoop. For DZ, Z's become my constants and then X and Y stay the same. Okay, so same concept, but we go up to four and five dimensional systems here. To find X, Y, and Z, it is still the ratios. Okay, still DX over D, DY over D, DZ over D. So whatever letter you're looking for there. Okay. So let's check it out. Okay, here's one. Notice there's no zeros in here. If a variable was missing, I'd have to put a zero in there for that placeholder. So let's look at um, D. So I've got 3 minus 2, 3. Uh, five, three, and eight, and then one, one, and three. Okay. Uh, dx. So instead of writing my x terms, I'm going to write my solutions or the constant terms. And then I get negative two, three, and one, three, eight. And then dy. So x stays there. Y now becomes the solutions. And z stays in there. Okay, and then dz. X's stay in there. Y's stay in there. And then Z's become your constants. Okay. And now we just need to find the determinant of each one of these. So the easiest way here is probably, since there are no zeros, would just be maybe the extended method. So we'll copy 3, 5, and 1, negative 2, 3, and 1. Okay, so we've got one, three, three, nine, one, eight, three, twenty-four, three, five minus two, so minus thirty. So that's nine plus negative thirty. That's three. Okay, and then we got three, three, and three, that's twenty-seven. Negative 2, 8, and 1, that's minus 16. And 3, 5, and 1, that's 15. So that's 27 minus, uh, minus 1, which is 26. So you get 26 minus 3, 23. Okay, so let's move on here. So we'll Copy the first two columns, minus 3, minus 2, and 1, minus 2, 3, and 1. So that's 1, 3, 3 is 9, 1, 8, negative 3, that's minus 24, 3, minus 2, minus 2, that's 12, so that's 9, minus 24, plus 12. That's 
minus 3. And then you got negative 3, 3, and 3, minus 27. Negative 2, 8, and 1. That is minus 16. And you got 3, minus 2, 1. That's minus 6. So negative 27, minus 16, minus 6. That is minus 49. So you got bottom, which is minus 49. Minus negative 3, which is four, negative 46. Okay. So then dy, that's 3, 5, and 1. And if you want to do the expansion method, uh, your bottom row here is probably going to be the best, um, but this is just as easy. Okay, so I've got 1, minus 2, 3, that's minus 6, 1, 8, and 3, that's 24, 3, 5, and minus 3, that's minus 45. Negative 6 plus 24 minus 5, that's negative 27. Okay, you got 3, negative 2, and 3. 18. You got negative 3, 8, and 1. That's minus 24. What is this? 3, 5, and 1. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to, hard to read those, so that's 15. So negative 18 minus 24 plus 15 minus 27. So minus 27, negative 27 minus negative 27 is 0. So minus 27 minus negative 27 is 0. Okay, and then dz, we've got 3, 5, and 1. Negative 2, 3, and 1. So I got 1, 3, negative 3, that's negative 6. Oh, sorry, negative 9. We got. 1, negative 2, and 3, that's negative 6. 1, 5, and negative 2, that's negative 10. 3, 3, 1, that's 9. Negative 2, negative 2, 1, that's 4. Negative 3, 5, and 1, that's minus 15. So it's 9 plus 4 plus negative 15. Minus 2. This was minus 25. Minus 25. So dz is negative 2 minus negative 25 is 23. Okay. Um, so if I scroll down here just a little bit for some more room. For x, x is dx over d, which is negative 46 over 23 which is negative 2, y is dy over d, which is 0 over 23, which is 0, and z is dz over d, which is 23 over 23, which is 1. So where these three planes intersect is negative 2, 0, 1. And there's your solution. Okay. A little bit longer, um, but it, but it's still a super easy uh, method of doing this. We'll skip that one for now. Um, so here are your suggested problems. Uh, 79 is your challenge problem. Um, it should be really easy. I think it's a four by four to turn in, um, for you to work out. Um, so give those a try. Uh, be ready for your quiz. If you got questions, uh, come see me and, and we'll get it worked out.